Okay, I'm back. Uh, again, I've got a small SD card. It's only two gigabytes, so I ran out of SD card space. I'm back again uh, to continue my discussion here. So, these are the components that I'm concerned about. Um, I think the bell idea was a good idea uh, and the real reason that I did this is because what I wanted to do in the future is port some tubing into this chamber here uh, from the outside so that I could inject steam on the outside of this bell and when the with this bell at 2200 degrees or 2100 degrees Fahrenheit you eject steam on the outside of this red hot steel bell it would cause it to rust and that rust takes the uh, oxygen and traps it in in the in the surface of the metal and what is produced then is from the from the steam is H2O so if you take the uh, oxygen away and trap it in the steel and make uh, uh, rust then what is left is hydrogen and so uh, hydrogen is the uh, a, a good fuel to to burn in an engine so that would be an enhanced process that would uh, potentially give me a, 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 a an extra boost uh, and uh, horsepower out of my engine, but it, what would what it would happen? What what would have have to happen is I'd have to cut some holes in here, tube it up, and uh, uh, inject uh, steam onto the the, the cast the this bell. Uh, and then I would have to harvest that hydrogen back off with another port. So I'd have an injection port for the for the water steam, and a ex exit port for the hydrogen. Um, <clears throat> and that's the reason I didn't uh, fill this space up uh, between here with uh, with the uh, uh, fire brick material. Uh, it was a good idea, but. Uh, Needs, needs to have some uh, uh, more thought put into how how this works. Uh, I, I really need to. I, I think this being a uh, a replaceable fitting that goes in here. It's, it's sealed here. It's sealed here. The only place that it is not sealed is the interface between this surface and this surface. So if I'm or if I were able to seal this surface and this surface, this would work. Uh, anyway, so that's that was the thought process I was going through. As flawed as it may have been, uh, it's something that I still want to try in the future. <coughs> um, Uh, the other problem I may have here is is this uh, uh, blower pipe that I have here may have too small of holes in it. Uh, I want to get the camera off the stand and and show you the that uh, pipe assembly and uh, get a close up shot of it. So this is the uh, the blower pipe that comes down through the bottom of there into the burn chamber area and uh, as you can see there is a cap on there and uh, there is t holes drilled tangent to the edge of this uh, uh, pipe on the in on internally but there are, there are pretty small holes and what I did is I calculated the uh, uh, surface or the area of those holes relative to the diameter of the inside of the pipe so that the uh, diameter of these holes uh, 
and the number of them um, match up so that I'm not restricting the, the flow out of the end of this pipe. Although uh, it, I need to redo those calculations, make sure I did them right. Uh, they, they look a little small to me, but uh, I don't know, I'll, I need to review that again. Um, this may be a problem that is creating too big of a restriction uh, for the airflow that I need uh, since the, uh, the vacuum is actually being pulled from this port through that pipe, uh, or I should say that port over there, through the pipe and then back out of here to the to the uh, uh, to the engine. So this 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 may be too big of a restriction. Uh, I can maybe uh, get your input on that. The other issue here is uh, the uh, seal that I have here for my uh, ignition port. I need to build a a flange that will actually bolt up here so that uh, I have a, a, a positive seal there. Um, I also wanted to show you the biochar that I have sitting in the bottom of the, the barrel here. I have a, a fair amount of biochar sitting down there from shaking the grate. Uh, I kind of wanted to look at this this door from the inside to see why it's not sealing very well. I don't know if we can see that or not. Hopefully that will focus. I'm not sure. We'll see when I get the video back whether it focused or not. Anyway, the other thing is, is the seal on top of this barrel. Uh, it uh, really stuck stuck here my video is being it's it's stuck here and, and that's why I had a hard time getting the lid off so but anyway I need to replace this seal which was the seal that came with the uh, barrel uh, I'm sure it's not high temperature so what I'll do is I'll replace that seal with this uh, this high temperature material, the same stuff I used around the door. Um, I did a burn test here of the uh, material and uh, to see how flammable it was. I used a, a torch to burn it. Uh, I'll put this back on the the, uh, the stand and I'm going to do the uh, burn test for you. Um, so just so you can see this, uh, let's see, let's get a different view here. Okay, let's, let's do that. That's good. It doesn't really burn very well, but it does thin out, and it is. It is high temperature, and I think I can achieve a, a seal with that. Um, I don't uh, think that the wood hopper gets that hot, so I'm going to try using this material as a seal between the wood hopper and the uh, bell uh, housing assembly to to seal that up, and and maybe I can then be producing some. Uh, wood gas that's burnable. This has been kind of a uh, a long, long project, and uh, I, uh, I'm getting tired, so to speak. I want to get this uh, job done. This was uh, uh, one of the things that I wanted to do for my uh, uh, quote unquote end of the world as we know it. Uh, scenario that's going on in America today. Um, uh, this is this will be a huge, huge uh, asset well, if that ever does happen. I pray and hope that it never does. But uh, 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 
my religion and my uh, Bible tells me that it will happen. It's just a matter of time. Uh, if it la happens in my lifetime, then I'll be prepared. If it doesn't happen in my lifetime, then great. Uh, but anyway, I need to finish this project up. I got other projects that I want to move on to. I got a. I'm going to put this uh, gasifier on this trailer right here along with a uh, power inverter and some batteries so this will be my power trailer uh, but anyway this is uh, all good automation reviewing my uh, flash 001 USA uh, gasifier I uh, really want to thank uh, flash 001 for all the effort that uh, he uh, put into uh, sharing his uh, uh, videos online so that uh, we could I could build this I think he's a, a wonderful guy and, and uh, uh, has shared a lot with uh, everyone uh, doing this and I ser seriously thank him for that this is all good automation